welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that part A show that 1 plus omega Q the whole into 1 plus omega raised to power 6 the whole into 1 plus omega raised to power 12 the whole into 1 plus omega raised to power 24 the whole up to 2n factors is equal to 2 raised to power 2n. And part B is, if x is equal to a minus b, y is equal to a into alpha minus b into beta, z is equal to a into beta minus b into alpha, where alpha and beta are complex cube roots of unity, then show that x into y into z is equal to a cube minus b cube. Now the first start in the solution of this question, we should know some results. And that are, if the three cube roots of unity are denoted by 1, omega and omega square, then the sum of the three cube roots of unity is 0. That is 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. And secondly, the product of the three cube roots of unity is 1. That is, 1 into omega into omega square is equal to 1, which implies omega cube is equal to 1. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now, we will start with the solution. Firstly, we will start with part A. Now in the part A, we have to find 1 plus omega Q the whole into 1 plus omega raised to power 6 the whole into 1 plus omega raised to power 12 the whole into 1 plus omega raised to power 24, the whole, up to 2n factors. Now this is equal to 1 plus omega raised to power 3, the whole, into 1 plus, now omega raised to power 6 can be written as omega raised to power 3, whole raised to power 2, the whole, into 1 plus now here omega raised to power 12 can be written as omega raised to power 3 whole raised to power 4 the whole into 1 plus now omega raised to power 24 can be written as omega raised to power 3 whole raised to power 8 the whole up to 2 n factors Now using this result which is given in the key idea, now here we will put omega raised to power 3 is equal to 1. So this will be equal to 1 plus 1 the whole into 1 plus 1 raised to power 2 will be equal to 1 the whole into 1 plus now here also it will be 1 raised to power 4 which is equal to 1. The whole into 1 plus. Now here 1 raised to power 8 which is also equal to 1. The whole up to 2 n factors. Now this is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into here also 1 plus 1 is 2 up to 2 n factors. Therefore 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so on up to 2 n factors will be equal to 2 raised to power 2 n. Therefore 1 plus omega raised to power 3 the whole into 1 plus omega raised to power 6 the whole into 
1 plus omega raised to power 12 the whole into 1 plus omega raised to power 24 the whole up to tn factors is equal to 2 raised to power 2n. Now we will start with the B part. Now in the B part x is given to us, y is also given and z is also given. And here alpha and beta are complex cube roots of unity. And we have to show this. So in the B part it is given that alpha and beta are complex cube roots of unity. Now the three cube roots of unity are given by this and also the sum of the cube roots of unity is equal to zero. Now here let alpha is equal to omega and beta is equal to omega square. Then as alpha is equal to omega, then beta will be equal to alpha square. Now as 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0, so here 1 plus alpha plus alpha square is equal to 0. As omega here is alpha, and omega square is alpha square. This implies alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus 1. Now given x is equal to a minus b, y is equal to a into alpha minus b into beta and z is equal to a into beta minus b into alpha. Now we will find x into y into z. Now this will be equal to putting the values of x, y and z here. This will be a minus b the whole into a into alpha minus b into beta the whole into a into beta minus b into alpha the whole. Now beta is equal to alpha square. So putting this value here, this will be equal to a minus b the whole into a into alpha minus b into alpha square the whole into a into alpha square minus b into alpha the whole. Now we will multiply these and this will be equal to a minus b the whole into a square into alpha raised to power 3 minus a into b into alpha square minus a into b into alpha raised to power 4 plus b square into alpha raised to power 3 the whole. Now the product of the cube groups of unity is equal to 1. Therefore here the product of the cube groups of unity will be 1 into alpha into alpha square which is equal to 1 and this implies alpha raised to power 3 is equal to 1. Now we will use this result here. Now here alpha raised to power 3 will be equal to 1 and alpha raised to power 4 can be written as alpha raised to power 3 into alpha which is further equal to now where alpha is to power 3 is 1 so it will be 1 into alpha which is equal to alpha now putting these values here this will be equal to a minus b the whole into a square into alpha is to power 3 is 1 minus a into b into alpha square minus a into b into alpha raised to power 4 is alpha so it will be alpha here plus b square into alpha raised to power 3 is again 1 the whole. Now this is equal to a minus b the whole 
into a square and from these two terms minus ab is common so it will be minus ab into alpha square plus alpha the whole plus b square the whole. Now we will use this result. Now here alpha square plus alpha will be equal to minus 1 so this will be equal to a minus b the whole into a square minus a b into minus 1 plus b square the whole which is further equal to a minus b the whole into a square plus a b plus b square the whole. Now using this formula this will be equal to a cube minus b cube. Therefore x into y into z is equal to a cube minus b cube. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.